Hello, this is Vin for Art, uh, here again with another um, t sort of tutorial or tips video in terms of how to use Clip. And I'm here to show you something, and hopefully this is very quick. It should be fairly simple on how you go about doing this. Um, and this is in regards to screen tones for manga. Uh, I will not be... For the example in which I will be shown here, I will not be using a manga or a comic page, but instead a regular illustration. And here what I have in front of you is an old illustration of Nessa, um, one of the Pokemon trainers, and, and she's already been colored. It's already up on my Twitter, up online, that I'm sure you could pretty much find anywhere on Vin for Art. Um, and I think it'll be a lot easier than just trying to prepare another line art to work with and just work with here. Um, so right here, we're just going to close off the colors and I'm going to make another folders for the screen tones to make everything organized. another layer within that folder. Uh, so screen tones are pretty funny to work with in terms of the fact that you have, it's not as easy as just dropping it down the way that you want it to. Um, the way that you want it to. Like we're just dropping down a piece of color. Where, first things first, where you're going to look for it is when you go into your access, your quick access folders. It should be located somewhere along the lines of your all your materials. And you want to go towards monochromatic, where they have all the tones and what you're looking for. Uh, pretty much all the tones, the gradients, the patterns. And you'll find somewhere down the line where you find these sort of uh, the zipper tones patterns that you would see in old newsprints. And what you would do, how the best way to go about it really, that I know about so, is making a selection and dragging any one and dropping it in said selection. That's one way to go about it. Um, and it's not just with that, you could use any other one, any pattern that you wish. This one created another, uh, a mask. I'm not entirely sure myself on how to fix that up, but this is a route that you could go with. That's... Um, a direction that you could go in making these tones. Another way of going about it is just taking a piece and maybe along the lines of deleting by erasing some of the, and that's through the, the layer mask and how you go about that. There are easier ways to do that, and I'm sure you can make up ways to work with your workflow uh, that you wish to do. Uh, it's probably not the a really smart way for me to go about trying to show how to work with the, the technicalities of using screen tones in uh, Clip Studio Paint. But the great thing about it is that you can fix it up however the way you wish. If you have different use for like shadows and sometimes all that stuff. Uh, another good way of doing this. Here's another good way of going about it. 
make another selection and you can put in the tone and I'm sure that you could also rasterize it making it done in a way where you can scale it down or scale it up And there's also another way of making a type of gradient, which is a manga gradient right here. It's pretty much the same as the regular gradient that you would make, but instead of a solid color, you could go with the manga tones of your choosing. If you were to zoom in, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to find the, the textures the light, the the textures or the patterns used for this, and it sets for however way you wish to do it. So, how does this work out if we wanted to use Nest, do this for Nessa? Well, I would go about it as such um, by using the wand tool. I'll pick her her exposed skin and if to go with a black tone uh, to to illustrate her dark skin you could easily put something like this and it definitely would work and it definitely works it works out the way that we want it to it's actually pretty decent and it works it works out there's a lot of experimentation that you could go on with doing this something like this sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want it to but that's the great thing with trying to learn this program there's a bunch of experiments there's no right or wrong way to do about it, to go about this It's all up to your taste and how you want to tackle it. This is just me experimenting on this fly right now. Sometimes it doesn't work out and you have to mess with it however way you wish to. If you want to get that, the frequency is a good way to help play with it, which basically determines how big or small the individual dots that make up the perceived tones look. As the density, color of image, specified density, Sometimes use stars, which if you can't tell, it's how they look. Noise, squares, and as we started with the circle. As I said, it all depends on how you wish to work it out for yourself. I'm sure there's a way to put down another sort of like a shadow on top of it. I wanna see how that works out if you don't mind if I try this out. And I'm just going to make like a section off right here. I'll put another spot there. Now, as you can see, 
That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But let's try something. And no. But just by doing that, you see that there's a bunch of potential that you could do with this. Hell, if I really wanted to go above and beyond with this stuff, I could easily just select everything else outside of the line art. And all the stuff that I don't want to be affected. Just delete it. And that's another way of going about it. Now I know there's a question of, is there a way of just drawing in the tones? And I'm sure there is, which we're here to try out. I'm gonna use a regular pen. Nope. Ah, so that's a way of going about it. So let's start this over so that we could try this out from scratch. If we really, let's say, wanted to make just in a way where we could just straight up draw in the tones that we want to draw, a very simple of uh, easy way to go about this is making a clean layer hitting the symbol which is a uh, creating a layer mask which is not the same as creating a clipping mask but same thing that you would find in Photoshop in Photoshop but to use a different tone go with this one it's probably the same we're going to put it in this layer. Hit delete to clean up everything. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take our pen and let's go into our face and make a tone. And that's it. And we could go in to make the tone that we want to make with the regular pen tool. Doesn't matter what color we want to use, because it's not capturing the color, it's capturing us carving out the shape for the for this illustration. Now, unfortunately, the refer other layers won't work here. So pretty much the only way to go about this is just to just draw it in manually and maybe do cleanups. given that we have this done already <laughs> hmm. wouldn't show up too well don't expect that
we really wanted to be easy with this to just cut out the grunt work just always select the areas I know not all of her hair is black but fuck it we're just doing a demonstration And there you go on to make the type of work that you want to make. The type of shading that you want to make. Works out however way you want it to work out for you. Plenty of ways that you can go about doing this. There's no rules. There's no limitations for you. The only thing that you have to worry about is making it work well for you, making sure that it doesn't get in the way, and making sure that it is aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing um, for you and probably for whoever is going to be looking at your image. Uh, however, that is all I have to share. And while this may not have been the most uh, deepest dive into the technical part of looking how to use the tones in Clip Studio Paint, I hope it encourages you to explore your options and explore how you can go about problem solving with this tool, um, with this function, with any type of artwork that you want to do, whether it be a simple illustration or a comic page. With that being said, again, I hope this encourages you to experiment and to most importantly, to have fun with the tools that you're using and all that this program uh, provides for you. With that being said, happy to join. There's still a lot more subjects that I want to cover and don't hesitate to let me know what else that you want me to cover. And be sure to like and subscribe. Other than that, without further ado, this has been for Art. Thank you for watching, and a happy holidays.